Uh, three words to describe myself. Um, enthusiastic, passionate, and blanking at the minute. <laughs> um, my dad was the person who got me into carp fishing uh, all those many years ago. Um, you know, and I love reading stuff uh, by Terry Earn and, and, and Dave Lane. Um, scariest moment on the bank, I was fishing Burfield um, and I, I, I got up in the morning, uh, tried to sort a few bits and pieces out and I just found myself completely out of breath and um, my heart was racing and it was going anyhow so I lay down, did nothing for the entire day, next to nothing um, and I thought oh, I'm alright now, I'm alright and uh, then that evening it all started again and my heart was completely out of rhythm, you know I was, I was, I was getting a normal beat and then nothing and then bang 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 and then my heart would stop again for a little you know for, for a second or so and then it'd be like bang one big beat and I'd just lie in there in bed thinking this isn't good and this is not the you know ideal place to, to, to get this sort of thing and I was thinking about taking myself to Reading Hospital and I, uh, but in the end I just I just had a sleepless night the following morning I just packed up the best I could uh, completely out of uh, completely out of breath and struggling um, managed to get myself home uh, checked in at A&E and uh, my heart had gone out of rhythm and I found out I got aortal fibrillation, which, uh, which isn't a great thing, so uh, no caffeine for me from now on. Uh, I've been carp fishing. I caught, caught my first carp in 88 when I was 13. Um, so 20 years. No, 30 years. I can't even add up. <laughs> yeah, I like cricket. I um, like watching England football. I um, like horse racing. God knows, it, it wouldn't be anywhere too hard like Burfield or, or um, any of the tricky waters I've been on. I suppose it'd just be somewhere just to go and catch some nice looking fish, um, wherever that may be. I, I fished with a few good anglers uh, over the years. I fished with Dave Lane recently, who's, who's an awesome angler. Um, and, and a couple of people I've come to know. Um, it, it, it all depends on what sort of situation they're in. Um, and what environment. Uh, Darren Belton's a great all-round angler. Uh, he's probably not as well sung as, as what he should be. And uh, my mate Dave Moore, he can, he can certainly catch the fish. Uh, he's gone more into foreign fishing these days, but he, he can catch them as well. Um, probably my favourite moment is catching Choco. Uh, I, I, I had a ticket for four years. Um, I caught pretty much every other fish in the lake in, in Stone Acres down at the Lynch Hill Complex. And, I was just completely and utterly obsessed with that fish and um, I think I did 185 nights, um, caught several fish, some of them four times over and then when it finally went into the net it was, it was just such an awesome feeling and you know something that I, I began to think might never happen to, to finally catch it was, was, was just a brilliant feeling. You know, barring the obvious, probably uh, my camera. You know, I always like to, to, to take shots of what's going on around me and you know, I'm always hoping to catch that big fish and you know, I like to get reference to that if, if I catch it. Um, I mean, rigs are quite personal to me as well. Um, so, so when I'm doing standard fishing, it will, it will be, have to be my little hinge stiff rigs. Uh, I love them. Uh, it's, it's, it's my go-to rig in, in, in any sort of situation. The third thing's got to be a marker rod. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with finding the spot, you know, the, the spot within the spot, that, that little firm spot amongst the silt, that little tiny little gravel spot in amongst the weed. So a marker rod with, with, with braid is, is vitally important to my fishing. Yeah, I've got a few regrets. Um, I wonder how close I got to the Burfield Common on a couple of occasions. Um, there was one occasion when it was in my swim and I, I got completely turned over. Um, and there was another big fish I lost in open water. Um, and I, It always plays in my mind, you never quite know but it's, it's friends were in the vicinity. Uh, the Classic got caught a few hours previously from, from not too far away from where I was fishing. And I caught a little common, which and it's been known to hang around with this little old common with a twisted mouth. So it always makes me wonder what fish I lost that day. Um, and it could have been a Burfield. Could have been, could have been something else, but you know, it could have been a Burfield. Dave Moore's the right character. Uh, and he's, he's got a story about pretty much every situation and he's, he's probably the person I'd like to sit down with a, with a glass of wine with in the evening and just, just talk about anything in general. Um, 
the, the, the favourite bit is when everything comes together and you try hard, you, you, you've, you've grafted, you've worked things out, you've, you've thought about situations and then you finally get that bite um, that could transpire into that, that one target fish that, you've, you, you've been, that I've been going for for, for, for for weeks, months, years. That, that, that's my bit, when it all comes together and you get that one fish. Turning up bivvies is horrible. Uh, through my job, I have to do absolutely <laughs> loads of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, when we do shows like Carp in the Park and we have to set up 30 bivvies between us and then pack them all down in the, in the hot sun, that, that, that is horrible. Uh, it's, 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 it's not the ideal situation, but uh, on a more serious note, he's, he's, he's blanking when you can't take anything away from that. When, you, when you've gone down to lake, you've thought you've done everything right, You've had fish on you, um, and you don't know why you've, you've, you've blanked. That, that's the worst bit. I don't mind blanking when there's, there's a reason to it, and you can fathom out why you've blanked and why you've gone wrong. But blanking for the sake of blanking and not being able to, to piece that piece of the jigsaw together, that's, yeah, that's the worst bit. <laughs> you, you've got to admire people in the trade that have, that have um, crafted a living through it, because it's not an easy trade to to make a living from. Um, so, so you guys that have fronted a company back in the day through just pure perseverance are, are the guys you've got to you got to look up to in the trade. Probably the biggest secret is in, in, in terms of catching fish is, is there are no massive secrets anymore. There are no massive edges. There's no secret rig. There's no secret bait. There's no secret anything really. It's, it's all down to perseverance and experience and you know, effort equals reward in this day and age, and, and, and knowledge is is probably the best thing you, you can take into to you know to any sport. I mean, uh, everything's out there in the magazines. You know, you pick up Total Carp, and you can read about any rig, any bait, or anything. Um, but to me, carp fishing is more about experience and putting the right rig in the right bait, and the right amount of bait in the right situation, and, and getting all those pieces of the jigsaw together. Um, so, yeah, my secret is there's, there's no secrets in fishing anymore. Um, T, but it's got to be decaf, unfortunately. Um, I'm actually on a low carb diet, so I tend to avoid biscuits these days. I know that sounds sad. I've, I've turned into a person I used to hate. Uh, no caffeine, no carbs, no sugar. <laughs> no, taste. no taste, I'm getting old. Hey, I can't beat a nice steak. I love a steak. Kebab, I don't always eat the pitta though. This, 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 this was years and years ago. Um, and I was fishing at a water close to home, um, and I was fishing over this little gravel bar um, with this little stump in it. They used to call it Teapot Island because it had this little tiny bush on the island. And um, the best place to fish was on this gravel bar that came on the side of the island. Uh, so I hooked this fish, and it immediately swung left, took a bit of line, and went around the back of this island straight away. So my mate, being my mate, says, Do you want me to swim out and get it? It's like, You'll do that? Yeah. So he, he, he stripped down to his boxer shorts, swam out uh, onto this, this island, and he's standing there in, in what looks like the middle of a 30 acre lake, just wearing his boxer shorts. Um, and he's, he's, he's pulling this fish back around the island for me. He turns back around, says, big fish, big fish. And it comes back around the island, and then, um, yeah, I managed to lose it in the weed, unfortunately. But just, just the sight of him standing in his boxer shorts, uh, just in this middle of this 30 acre lake was, was yeah, it was funny. You have to be there, I suppose, but yeah, it's funny. I've got a few, um, and there's, there's, they're all the obvious ones. Um, there's this sort of the Black Mirror, which is a stunning fish. Um, there's uh, Mary, which is an absolute cracker. Um, I'd love to catch Burfield Common, um, but it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's such, a, such an interesting water, and I'm, I'm not sure I like the way it's gone in life few months I was on there, um, but probably the one out of all of them that I'd love to have caught um, would have been the Bishop from, from um, Redmere, you know, it was a stunning big linear and, and by far the biggest fish back in the day. I'd, I'd love to have caught that and I'd love to have photographed it with, with modern camera work and yeah, it's just, just a cracker. The, the whole thing about Redmere back in the day really captivated me. When I was a kid growing up about what Chris Yates was doing and, and uh, Dick Walker and a few of the others, it was... It, yeah, it was, it was just that, that awesome place to be with, with such an aura around it. Um, so yeah, I'd like to come back in the day and take the visit.